Hello folks, it's Rebecca here from Re Rebecca's Retro, back with another Friday Finds video. Today I want to talk about restaurant wear or Hotel China. It goes by both names. These are those clunky, very heavy um, dishes that were created beginning in the late 1890s, specifically for the hospitality industry. These showed up in diners, restaurants, um, cafeterias. They were ordered by the military. Um, they were, um, as it said, used in hospitality. It was very sturdy dishes, very utilitarian, although some of it was really quite pretty. And in fact, um, had some really interesting images that make creating restaurant wear especially fun. So I have some pieces here to show you today just to whet your appetite that maybe you'll want to go out and get some of these tasty dishes for your own. You can tell I'm having fun with this whole idea of restaurant wear. What got me started down this track was finding seven of these beautiful little cream pitchers um, at Harris Auction, my hometown source of all things vintage. These pitchers were by a Pennsylvania pottery or china company called Chinago. And they were, it's in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which I believe in, is in the western part of the state. I sold six of these little pictures on Rebecca's Retro, my Etsy store. But I kept one for myself because I just loved it so much. And I use it often. You know, if you watch Rebecca's Retro very much, that I really love um, red transfer wear. And this has that look. And so um, I kept it. Plus, I love the, the feel of it. Well, not long after I got hooked on this little picture, I became the fortunate owner of a number of pieces of um, restaurant wear that were from the cafeteria at Messiah College, the school where my husband has been on the faculty or administration for most of his career. These particular pieces were from the early 1900s when the school was known as the Messiah Bible College. So hence the monogram there. I love the um, dainty little leaf motif around the edge, the shape of the cups. You can see how very, very sturdy they are. Here's the saucer. And there again is the, the school's monogram there. Um, and so I don't have a, a really big uh, set of these, but I have enough that I can serve dessert and coffee with these, which is really fun. Let me show you the sugar bowl for that. I think it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love the shape of it. There's the monogram again, the little leaf motif there, and look at that lid. Isn't that pretty? Now, these were from a China company called Mare China, and another one of the leading providers of restaurant wear, cafeteria wear, hotel wear, whatever you want to call it. Well, a few years later then, I became, I picked up a place setting for 12 of what would have been in Messiah's cafeteria probably in the 50s or 60s. And there you can see that the color scheme has changed to blue and white, which continues to be the school colors to, to, to today. And there's the college seal. You can see on the plate, there's the wider band of color around the rim. And then on the inner part, a more narrow band of color. These are actually from Syracuse, China. And I love using these when we have um, faculty for, uh, for dinner or other um, employees of the college. It's just a great way to uh, bring back memories of the school as it once was. They're great conversation starters. So these are pieces that are in my own collection that I really love. Well, I wanted to show you these with the um, college emblem or initials on it is because one of the things that people particularly like about restaurant wear or hotel china is collecting pieces that have a, a company or um, place name on it. So I was really excited when at Harris not long ago, I um, found some pieces that had been in the state capitol cafeteria here in Pennsylvania in Harrisburg. And up here is the um, Pennsylvania seal or coat of arms. For the Commonwealth and on the back of the plate which are these are by Jackson China and on the back of the plate it says 
um, Pennsylvania state property. So these somehow ended up at Harris. I'm not quite sure how. I, I imagine maybe the cafeteria uh, replaced all of these at one time. But there you see a wide green band, almost a hairline band of red, and another uh, hairline band of red around the middle. I think these are so pretty. I didn't get a lot of them, but they're still a fun piece to mix into a um, restaurant wear collection. I know that many of the patterns um, in the western part of the United States show western themes, and some of them have, um, if, if it came up more into the mid-century, have designs like that. But what I tend to find at Harris, and as you know, if you've watched the, these videos before, that's the only place where I get my vintage, um, what shows up are usually much more classic themes, like these darling little Chinago pictures. Aren't they just the cutest things? And I love that pattern. Again, in the red, or sometimes called pink, that I really love. They're so pretty. And there you can see the Chinago logo on the base of those. And then also in that same pattern, I have this um, little fruit bowl and matching saucer. Again, in that same pretty white transfer wear kind of pattern. There's the logo on the base of those. So those are some more of that Chinago um, restaurant wear that I particularly like. I'll tell you, it's really fortunate that I did not discover this earlier or I would have had to buy a whole set of it. Um, but now I can just enjoy it by having it in my store. Green and white appear to be quite popular, at least again in the Northeast. So here we see a, a small bread and butter plate. Um, this one is from Jackson. China. You can see their logo there. And I have one, another green and white that's from Buffalo, China. One of the fun things about this is um, you don't have to worry about uh, collecting everything from a single company if you don't want to, because look how nicely these two green and white uh, variations go together. Here we see Jackson. Here we see Buffalo. And, and they both, you know, you could have them on the table and nobody would even know the difference. Now, while a lot of rest, restaurant wear had color added to it, some is just stark white, like this large plate or dinner plate from Chinago. You can see it's, it's a lovely pure white. And what I love about this is it really has the look of um, old ironstone. And so this plate would work really well mixed in with ironstone. It also is just stunning as a display piece with um, blue transfer wear, red transfer wear, really any color. So you can use it on your table or use it as a display piece. It's nice and neutral, but so sturdy that you don't have to worry about damaging it. And then I'll show you a couple more pieces of this plain restaurant wear. And these are both from Buffalo, China. Here's a very sturdy cream pitcher. This one was probably from the 1950s or so based on the mark, which I'll try to show you there. And then this little cereal bowl or salad bowl um, would have been an earlier piece because it has the embossed bison and the word um, Buffalo, China there. So those are some examples of just plain restaurant wear. I actually like it all. Um, I don't really have a big favorite, although I would really like to see some of those Western theme pieces as they come along. But you know, I think I'm really pretty fond of the blue and white. Look at this darling little um, Dimitas cup here. And this one is oh, another piece of Mayer China or Mayer restaurant wear. So there you have it, folks. Restaurant wear, another kind of of dish to tempt you to start a collection and to have some fun with it. Um, look around at yard sales, flea markets, antique stores in your area, and I know that you will see some. And it really is um, quite reasonably priced usually. And, you know, I'm thinking that um, these kind of dishes would be particularly fun to have in a cabin, or they're really nice for a farmhouse decor. But I will warn you, they're quite heavy, quite 
clunky, if you want to say that. Um, they take up a lot of room. So you have to have some good cabinet space if you're going to get really serious about restaurant wear. But it's worth it, I think. They're just delightful dishes. So I hope I've whet your appetite to try out a, a new a new dish, something new to you. Um, I know I'm pretty much hooked on it, although I'm trying not to, to get too carried away, but I love putting it in my store. So that's it, folks, for this week. And I look forward to seeing you again back here next week at um, Friday Finds at Rebecca's Retro. And in between, I hope I see you at my store, Rebecca's Retro at Etsy.com. So have a great week. Enjoy some beautiful dishes and maybe give restaurant wear a try. I think you'll like it. Maybe even you'll be lucky and find a beautiful little piece like this. So bye, folks. See you later.